Hi, today we are going to learn how to create the bar chart, horizontal bar chart with CSS and jQuery. If I refresh the page, you'll see that our bars are animating to the relevant width. We have values uh, of the percentage for each uh, bar on the right hand side. And then just for the, as the exercise basically, we're going to create uh, a text field for, each, uh, for every single uh, bar in our diagram. Uh, just to see how uh, we can animate the width uh, by simply changing the value for specific uh, bar. If I change this one to let's say 30, you can see it's animated to 30%. Value on the right hand side has changed. Now this one I'm going to change to 20, this one to 50, this one to 100, this one to let's say 30. And you can see they are animating and obviously our values are displaying whatever we've typed into uh, our text field. So let's go to our browser, uh, our editor. Uh, together with the exercise files, again, you get CSS folder with the blank uh, core.css file. Then we have uh, index.html with the basic structure of the page. Then we have JS folder with blank core.js and the latest, uh, the time of this recording version of jQuery. So let's start with our index.html. In between uh, the opening and closing body tag, we're going to start with a section with the ID of wrapper. In between a section tags, we are going to type UL with the ID of chart. And now each bar will be presented by LI tag. Then we're going to use title attribute, which will contain the percentage. So let's say the first one will be 25. Then we have class assigned to it, which will simply uh, uh, indicate what color we want uh, the bar to be. This one will be red. And then in between uh, the opening and closing li tag, we're going to have two spans. Span uh, with a class bar, which will be our bar. And then span with a class percent, which will display the value. Both of them they are blank. There's nothing between the opening and closing span tags. So now I'm going to copy this and paste it several times underneath. We want five bars. So one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to change the title attribute for all of them. So the next one will be 80. Uh, third one will be 65, for instance. Then we're gonna have 50. And last will be 100%. So these are our bars. Now, after the UL tag, we are going to create the form with our input tags. So form with the ID of form values. Then we're gonna apply some action to it, which will leave black, blank. Uh, then we have method as post. And in between the opening and closing form tags, we're going to add a few input uh, tags. So input with the name with a blank, we don't really need uh, anything here. ID will be li underscore one. And now underscore one, because we're going to refer this input to the first index inside of the uh, chart U uh, UL. So obviously our first one will be this, this li. Then next one will be with uh, index two. It will refer to a second element of our unordered list. So we have our ID. After this, we have value, which initially is 25, and then class field. Okay, now we can copy this line and paste it five more times. So that, uh, so that it matches actually the number of uh, bars that we have. One, two, three, four, five. So sorry, that's one too many. Okay, next one was 80, 65. So we have 80, 65, then we have 50 and 100. 50 and 100, and then we have 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, now that we've done all this, we can move to the next video when we're going to start doing our CSS.